going to be doing a very cool show tonight. We're looking at projects that have already minted, um, you know, and are, you know, it's not a, a hot new mint, but that we believe have good medium to long term potential um, and good to have on your to have on your radar. We're specifically focusing on ones that are priced at half an ether or lower. We did do a previous episode where we dealt with um, uh, projects under 0.2 that you could get into, now we're doing 0.5. So if you're looking in a smaller budget, those projects still count and go back to that video, you can see it here. Um, but tonight we're focusing on around the half and ETH range. So I'm gonna jump straight into Wolf Game. And I know what you're all thinking. You're all thinking that's not half an ETH. <laughs> and, you, <laughs> and you are right, this is five Ethereum. And, uh, you know, let's just have a, a brief look at Wolf Game to begin with. There are sub collections in the Wolf Game um, ecosystem. 5.6. Uh, they're that. selling high. Looks, yeah. yeah. Wow. One sale at 11 ETH. Must have been a wolf. Yeah. So there it is. Yeah, know, it was. Was a wolf, yeah, and a rare, a rare wolf at that. But always a very bullish sign in general when things sell outside of it. But this is weird because this is ten days ago, so they've migrated it over. Let's just go to the migrated version. But basically, if you want to get into the wolf game system, but you don't really want to play and you don't want to spend, um, this ethos goes as high as about two Ethereum. A really good play and a sort of short-term flip that I've personally been doing is with the farmer, the Wolf Game Farmer. Now, anyone that I've spoken to that plays this game, and, and we must remember Wolf Game was the first of its type to do this. So it's always going to have that his historical value. Um, and even if you don't intend playing, if you wanted to do a flip on this, if you buy in at one ETH, and it does go there, and then sell at 1.4 consistently, you'll be able to do that once or twice every single week and make a good a good, um, a good good uh, return on your investment. If that's a bit too much, the most important next thing in this infrastructure is the farmer. So you get the wool and you get a whole lot of other things. The guys who play this game, and there are guys who are so into this game, you have no idea. The guys who play this game, tell me they need a farmer no matter what they'll pay anything for a farmer they need it in order to advance in the game so what i've been doing is i've been buying these at 0.5 or 0.55 that i won't go higher than 0.55 and then i've been listing it for 0.75 it's currently at the top the reason it falls into our episode today is i usually pick them up at 0.5 or point between there um but it goes up and down almost constantly almost constantly and there's your opportunity to pick it up and there's your opportunity to sell there was your opportunity to pick one up and there was your opportunity there again and again again and again again and again and it consistently does this so you know i'm not a financial advisor and this is very risky mm -hmm. as far as you, you might buy in a 0.55 and it might go down to 0.3. I don't know. Um, but from what I've been doing, it's worked three times. And each time I've netted about 0.2 or 0.15 to 0.2 after all gas and commission and everything. So I just wanted to bring it to your attention. You can do the exact same thing with a, with the actual wolf or sheep. I bought a sheep at one and I sold it at 1.45. And I mean, if we just want to go in here, I'll actually show you guys, um, just to show you my play properly, if we filter by Wolf Game, oops, sorry, Wolf Game Farmer. Now that yeah. is called a hardy dog. It's a bird <laughs> that we have. <laughs> it's a bird we have in South Africa that everyone hates because they wake everyone up all the time. They make the biggest noise. So if you look here, these are all my trades on farmers, guys. Wow, just in the very beginning, in the very beginning, I picked one up at 0.23 and I sold it at 0.74. So that was the beginning when I got this alpha that when that guy said he, everyone needs a farmer. I, in hindsight, I should have bought 10 of them, but obviously I didn't know whether it was good alpha or not, which I now do know. I just want to only go to sales to make this list less. 
So I picked it up at 0.235, sold it at 7.2. Picked one up at 0.5 on the dot, sold it at 0.68. Picked one up at 0.5. The reason I sold it this time at 0.579, so it didn't make it, made maybe 0 0.03 on it, was because I noticed that the wolf migrated were going very down. And I started to worry. There was a bit of FUD with an influencer and the project. I started to get worry, worried, and I thought, no, no, I don't want to have the sheep as well as the farmer. I'm over-invested in a project that I'm not interested in and that is now having a bit of fad. And I decided to sell, I decided to sell it. But yeah, it was it was at this point when it went below my two ETH where where I'd only ever see, seen it. It started going 1.95, 1.9. I thought, no, this is, you know, and, and I sold my farmer because it's going to follow in the footsteps of the main project. I sold my farmer for a tiny game just to get out of it. But lo and behold, it actually did what it's what it's always been doing. And that is it went back, as you saw, it went back to 0.7. Um, yeah. So, you know, you never really know. But just a good play. And you can thank me after for that. <laughs> really interesting strategy when you think flipping. People just think mint, sell for a profit, on to the next one. But perfect example, you can just flip the same NFT back and forth mm. if it if it's a quality project that just sort of goes through those dips and, and yeah. Rises, so if you right? see a chart like this, right? If it's you like, take a ruler, it's almost a straight line, the highs and the lows. Okay, there's a bit of a change, but there's constant dips and troughs. Like where do you see that? If you see that, that's a great opportunity for flipping in yeah. any project. It's like uh, like trading coins or stock. People try and buy the dip and sell when it's high, right? So very, very similar strategy. Awesome.